Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I want to show you how to add a Zoom meeting to a Google Calendar event, uh, either while you're creating it or sort of uh, post hoc when once the event's been created and you can stick it in after the fact as well, pretty much the same way. I also want to go over how to uh, add instructions to connect to a Zoom meeting into a Google Calendar event if you don't want to install the app. That's completely valid. Uh, the app does request a lot of permissions. Uh, and you may not want to grant those, especially considering that Zoom's had some security issues recently. So start off, if you want to install it, we're going to go through that first. Uh, start off here in the Zoom Marketplace, that's just marketplace.zoom.us. Uh, once you're here, scroll down, uh, you should see Google Calendar as one of the first choices. It's a really popular add-on, uh, and if you click on it, it'll take you to the page here. Uh, if you're not the administrator of your Zoom account, so uh, if you're just a user on an enterprise account, you've got to make sure that you have permission to install uh, add-ons. So you may have to check with your administrator if this isn't toggled on. Uh, otherwise, uh, toggle the pre-approved button on and you should be able to install it, especially if it's just an individual account. Click that link, it'll take you through to uh, the G Suite Marketplace. And then when you install it, you can see it's going to install the uh, calendar, Gmail, and the general G Suite add-on for Zoom. So just click on that and it'll walk you through some steps. And you can see here, it asks for a long list of permissions once you choose the account you want to use. There's a lot of things that it can do. Uh, so if you're comfortable with this, click through Allow, and it'll pretty much install you know, instantly as soon as you click OK. And that's it. It's installed. Now that that add-on is installed, let's go over to Google Calendar. You can click on the button right next to your name to, to get over to the calendar. Alternatively, you can navigate to it or you know open a link if you have that set up. Okay, so we're here uh, on April 1st, and I'm going to start a new event. Double click that. And you can see here we're in a new uh, Google Calendar event. If you click on Add Conferencing, you can see that the Zoom meeting options here. So click on that, and if you've just installed it, it's going to prompt you to log in. So just click on the Zoom icon there on the right side of G Suite, which you won't see that if you don't have this installed. So uh, if you don't see it, you might have to go check to make sure it's installed correctly. Click on Sign In, and it'll prompt you to sign in using the same account that you used before. And just authorize that, and it'll connect. And you'll see here, you can either use your personal meeting ID or generate one automatically and, you know, toggle a series of different options here, video and audio options. You can turn on video and audio automatically. You can make sure that uh, participants are muted and they have to get permission to enter. Two good things to make sure are on along with password. Uh, so make sure you set a password for your meeting. Don't make it as simple as one, two, three, four. I'm just using that here as a, uh, as a test. So, okay, you got the settings toggled on that you want. Just click on Zoom meeting again. And it should automatically connect. And there you go. You can see you've got a new Zoom meeting added to the calendar here. And when you send out an invitation, uh, participants will automatically get all the Zoom details they need, the password, uh, instructions to join if they click on this link will open in a new tab and will look basically like the email that goes out and they can click on the link from there alternatively participants can just click on join zoom meeting right from there let's save the meeting as test meeting save it and I didn't invite anybody but you can see here that everything's set up there and if someone were to get the invite and accept it Meeting time comes around, they just click on the meeting and click on join, and that'll automatically prompt them to either download and install Zoom or use the web client if you've enabled that option. And that's pretty much all there is to adding a Zoom meeting to Google Calendar when you have the integration. Uh, if you don't have the integration, it takes just a few more clicks and a little more legwork to do. So if you don't want to add the integration for whatever reason, um, you can just open up Zoom and then either start a new meeting automatically and just add that invitation to Zoom. Or if you want to schedule a meeting, you can go over here to meetings. And let's say we just want to use the main personal ID. You can just go on there, copy invitation. I mean, this works the same for a regular calendar meeting. You can just copy the invitation to that meeting, click back over to Google Calendar, go into that event to edit it, and just paste the description of the meeting right in there. So if Zoom wasn't integrated with this meeting, let's get rid of that. 
there. So like, you know, there's no conferencing included in this. So you have to just paste the details in there and then just save the meeting. And then whenever you send that invite out or the invite gets updated with people, they will see the steps to join the meeting right there. So there's your two ways of doing it. Um, simple in either direction. So for Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. Be sure to check out uh, techrepublic.com for more tips and tricks for Zoom and other apps.